What is so ancient only an internet veteran can remember? Going into AOL chat rooms and saying, hey, they put a fireworks show into the chat, hold alt and hit F4, and you'll see it. Then watching as, one by one, chat room participants disappeared. ASL. 16 slash f slash cali asterisk s c r a t c h e s my gray puked old man b a l l s asterisk a o l tech live support person here the amount of times i had to answer why no fireworks and ask them to try again and let me know if it is fixed now just so i could laugh is pretty high literal villainy the harmacist all for a o l chat room is full because chat rooms were capped at 24 people or something like that a mod could boot people from the room for inactivity music sharing 24 over 24 music sharing 2 24 over 24 music sharing 0 2 24 over 24 new ccs hari ng real 5 over 24 brutal at least it wasn't delete system 32 and make your computer faster signing up for a new ml address and the username not already being taken glorious times i took like every free ml with my first name and my first name and surname combination which was a mastermind move when i was 12 sucks to be whoever has the same name as me though same i forgot the passwords for many of them but i was able to recover them all when we used to risk getting viruses just to get cool curses or smile is for your instant messenger like aim msn or yahoo messenger all links were underlined and blue if you were printing a website better strip the formatting first if going on a long car journey having to print off directions from mapquest and the first three pages were how to get out of your driveway counters on web pages when doing research online wow this site has had 300,000 people visit the information must be legit i was taught in school that you could check the credibility of a website based on the counter Encarta. anyone else remember that trivia game built into Encarta, where you had to answer trivia questions to get through this castle where everyone was basically frozen creepily into place and couldn't be freed unless you made it to the end you mean mind maze. Young nerdy me loved that game. Real player. Also, uninstalling real player. Yeah. And quick time. Reminds me of those posted stamp sized movies at 6 FPS. Shockwave. Not being able to play flash games until the flash player had been updated. Having to update flash player every time you turned the computer on. Ever updated hourly. And never got any better. It's like me. If I was an app. Playing pool in Yahoo chat rooms. I used to love that pool game on Yahoo. Wasted loads of time on that. Oh man my buddy and I would play Yahoo pool for hours every day after school. While simultaneously grinding on RuneScape together back in junior high slash high school. Dude lived like two blocks away. And we spent more time playing games online than hanging out in person. A fella tried to groom me from Yahoo games when I was 7. He even managed to add me on MSN before my mom found out, and I had a stern teaching about what a sexual predator is. AHH memories. Making AOL away messages in the funky fonts and colors, and those MIDI sound files that played on the loop, and those dress up dolls. It would take ages to download all of those images. Remember desktop themes, changing all ear icons, mouse pointer, computer sounds, etc. To images and sounds from, like drive cats professional therapist or whatever having to physically carry your computer around to a friend's house if you wanted to play multiplayer lugging my 21 inch monitor to LAN parties was brutal kids these days with their fifa light gaming laptops will never know the pain of carrying your beige midi tower in one arm beige court monitor in the other bag full of wires and peripherals hanging from your teeth actually having to switch on the internet opening the shortcut typing password and clicking connect and then waiting for the dubstep music to finish man i remember moving into the dorms my freshman year in 2000 with an ethernet connection for the first time you mean i'm like already on the internet what dialing into the bulletin board yebsing i'm glad i'm not the only one that remembers doing that those that don't know that was pre-internet where you had to dial each site individually. Now that is old school. Yup. We had a 1.2 KBD modem on our 8088 and my family was psing like crazy. We downloaded one of the first GIFs ever made. New compressed format at the time. 
which was a spinning jolt soda can, got every single Commander King game and many others. OMG Kingdoms of Cross. Just remember that, you could also get these on early PC magazines, that came with 5.25 inches floppy disks. We would get it every month at the mall, but people uploaded the eggs to the BBSs. There was no security on anything. I was fascinated with the idea of chatting with other people and first tried it on BBSs. Me and my brother sneakily entered an adult only BBS, not knowing why it was age restricted. And it immediately, slowly line by line displayed an ASCII porn image of a blowjob, we had no idea what was going on lol, when you logged in, such great times at the beginning of everything, experienced it all after that, from free trials to prodigy, aol, and getting a subscription to our first ever local dial in ispan 1995, which was run by one guy, and was buggy as hell and down half the time point like bbs's, the ice had to provide a local number access point, where you didn't have to pay long distance charges, and we lived in a tiny town, where we could only call two cities of 30-50k locally, where I discovered Ike, and kept using it till around 2012. Met my ex-husband over Ike and my current husband is the real life friend of an Ike friend since 1998, who I first met in person in 2013. Tell Net to production. Netscape. Netscape navigator and Netscape communicator. I seek you. And that oh alert, when you got a message. Winamp. It really whips the llamas a. Eh? So much time perfecting skins. So much time perfecting skins. Honestly that's kind of one of the things I miss the most about old internet. Everything was unique down to the individual user. Flashing marquees. Neon text on a different neon color background. Dancing gifs everywhere. The entire internet had this cobbled together looked like an old alley in Hong Kong. Now everything looks the same like digital urban sprawl, before, some kind of cyberpunk trailer park, now, boring a suburb with the world's most tight a hoa, the entire internet had this cobbled together look like an old alley in Hong Kong, damn that is the perfect image, to describe what it was like, I still use Winamp, people who own large digital music collections, as opposed to stream on it or Spotify, what else do you use as a simple media player? Having to be invited to mail, I still use the email address from my original invitation. OMG yes, I forgot about that. I do remember, having to invited to Facebook. I remember getting in a fight with my then boyfriend, because he wasn't sure, if I was worthy of one of his mail invites. He's long gone, but still using that account. Mayo. Putting a music CD into the computer, to check out the extras only for it to load way too slow to do anything with. The limited edition Deftones album White Pony had a little game on it. I had forgotten all about that. Thanks for reminding me. The creepy dancing baby. Old websites written in a not a put file with basic HTML using tables for spacing slash formatting, and images that took forever to load. This included lower than low fee MIDI audio files, that auto played, when the site loaded, and webring affiliation links at the bottom of the page. People thought making a personal page look professional meant it looked like a newspaper column with a table of contents linked list on the left side in traditional Roman numeral style list. Don't forget the counter. Having to clean the gunk out of your trackball, mouse with your finger nail. I'm so glad I don't have to boil eggs for the new mouse balls anymore. Really had to boil them a long time to get that good grey color and rubbery texture. Muds, multi-user domain slash dungeons. They were the text-only precursors to games like WoW and EverQuest. Hamster Dance is one I think of a lot. When Amazon just sold books. You forgot the construction worker excavating gifs and the under construction banner. Please sign the guest book. GR Cities was the sh. The mouse curses with fancy trailing effects. The Vista Counter. Anybody remember web rings? I went down many web ring rabbit holes back then. Lucas. Net Zero. AOL. And gel fire. Porn pop ups everywhere on every site. People afraid of cookies. I love you virus. 56k modem noises. P2P fillishering. And gel fire. I remember everyone. Not everyone but a quim. Having their own random web pages. Eyes bombarded by animated gifs. Needing to turn speakers down before the pages loaded. And the 8 bit songs started playing. Web rings. It was so fun and innocent back then. Blogs that weren't solely geared to promote the blogger slash products, but honest personal thoughts and experiences. 
floppy disks and CDs that came in the mail containing 500 free hours from AOL. One of my sister's friends decorated their dorm with those, they stuck them on the ceiling, and had enough to cover the whole thing, it was interesting decor. This sounds like some shit tech startup were doing a breakout room. A slash s slash l. I definitely inflated my A from 11 to 16 in the early days of ICQ, using 16 slash f slash Cali, when I was really 11 slash f slash middle of nowhere, because I just had to seem cool, and sophisticated to everyone else in the chat room. Can't remember mum's birthday, can still remember my ICQ number and I don't think I've used it in a decade. Geocities, and gel fire, tripod, strong bad emails. Trogda comes in the night, burning our in the countryside, let me check our emails. The system, is down. Trogda the burninator, a few years ago, I made a Trogda reference while washing dishes, and my husband had no idea, what I was talking about. So I threw down the sponge, gathered the family around the lappy, and educated them. The kids liked it well enough, he didn't get it, sigh. Burninating the countryside. Consummate V's. Strong bird. Yeah I can play the guitar. I know all about virtuosos and trembolas and arpeggios. I can do it all. I can play your basic rhythm guitar. Like. Jug jigger jug jigger jug jigger jug jigger jug jigger jaja. Jiggity jug jigger jug jigger jug jigger jug jigger jug jigger jaja. You know. Something like that. I can also play some pretty hot licks. Too. You know the kind that are just way up high on the tiny strings, and you mash your fingers on em meadly 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 yeah. Yeah and then strong mad comes in on his bass and he's like dow 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 and the cheat comes in on his keyboards and he's like boop 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 boo and then i'm like and the dragon comes in the knee i i i i having to make sure no one is on the phone so you can use the internet when i set up our internet for the first time mid 90s i accidentally had it calling a long distance number Dad received a phone bill for $2,800. We no longer had the internet in our house after that. As an it student side job, I had to make a software to remotely control ventilators and heaters for the preservation of a Roman mosaic. All this via 33,600 BPS modem and SMS as there was no landline on the mosaic site. I had to write the handshake by hand to start the SMS which would then transfer the instructions to the microcontroller on the mosaics, and once I forgot to close the transaction in my code which resulted in a 24h or more long SMS which cost my employer about 10 Swiss francs 000 or roughly $10,000 nowadays, but we called the mobile phone company to explain my mistake and they cancelled the bill. I did something like this, and there went a significant portion of my college savings. My coupe telco had a number you could dial, when you connected to a busy line, something like 55, asterisk or the like. It was supposed to be used for emergencies which would cycle the connection slash switch, and send a short series of tones, to let you know people were trying to call you, if you were on the phone. It would also knock out a dial up connection and ring the phone. When the modem disconnected, it got to the point that anytime anyone made any call, and got a busy signal. They just dial the alert number regardless of why they were calling. There was no way to prevent it, and you were at the mercy of whomever was dialing you. It was abused. Alta Vista, and their babblefish, the precursor to Google Translate. Ask Jeeves. I remember me, and a friend using, Ask Jeeves at school, and thinking we had to type things in as questions. Second grade our teacher polled the class what to ask Jeeves, because we thought we only got one question. We went with, Jeeves, why is it called a pair of pants, but not a pair of shirt, when the height of comedy was asking Jeeves, if he was gay. Waiting for the nude picture, to slowly reveal itself, because of the slow speed. Starting a 10 minute clip porn download on Limuire, before you left for school and still having to wait for it to finish, when you got home. Then have your dad get mad be see if, so many viruses on his computer. Stickdeath.com flash animations of stick figures being killed in funny ways. Thank you for reminding me of this gem. Juno email. Gopher. Neopets. F. I forgot to feed my neopets. They probably survived by eating their pet pet or its pet pet pet. 
having to actually type out HTTP, www before entering the website, omg that just unlocked a childhood memory I used to get so annoyed when parents would type a website name into the search bar, and look for the website link that way, I was like, why can't they just type out the whole website error, are they lazy? Rotten.com, a place that, at the time, had the unthinkable, prior to that you had a not copy of Faces of Death VHS floating around. Netscape Navigator. Webrings, before search engines were any good it was common for sites of a common theme to have links to the previous and next website in their group. Dial up, and that unforgettable tone sequence while connecting, every time we logged on a robot had to die, that was the heavy price we each paid in the before times, the screen loading horizontally, bar by bar. Not enough car or one. I remember sneaking downstairs in the middle of the night to play on the computer and the dial up squealing so loud it woke up my mom. If you were going online, everyone in the house knew it. Dial up tone. Aim. Kaza before the new IRA after Napster. Two cows. News grabs. Napster. Ibom's world. Albin or Black Sheep and New Grounds were classic too. End of Zen world. But I'm le tired, well have a nap, then fire Zen missiles, gi Joe, pork chop sandwiches. You're the man now dog, ytmnd, dogpile, and any other search compiler. All your base are belong to us. Board.com Prodigy CompuServe, mike, watching the internet come to life, when you upgraded from 14.4 modem to 28.8. If you went to 56 kbps images would appear, so much faster and you didn't think there could be anything better. Limuire, ah yes, Limuire was like, having unprotected sex with the internet, guaranteed virus, my favorite song I ever downloaded on Limuire was sweet underscore child underscore o underscore mine point eggs. Waiting 5 minutes for a photo of Sarah M jealousy through top, to slowly appear on screen. Flash animation websites. Flash games. Hundreds of creations. Finished or not. Wiped out. Ma. Hang up the phone you just kicked me off the web. No grounds. Playing command and conquer over dial up. For me it's the ICQ message sound. Ao. 286 processor. Nobody else remembers using it. I earned workplace cred by following key groups. Badger badger badger. Badger 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 mushroom. Mushroom. Websites dedicated to sharing something someone had a passion for. For free. Not to track you. Get your ML address. Subscribe to a mailing list. No ads. No cookies. No like us on Facebook. No pop-ups. Just free content. The internet marketing for the found Blair Witch Project video. It was ahead of its time and a lot of people fell for it. The counter at the bottom of each page. So you can see how many people have been there.